Yo guys, what is going on? Blossom is back and welcome back to another episode of Top Drives and another episode of the next update wishlist. Now, on my episode or on my video on the PL16 wishlist, uh, I basically split the video into two parts. My personal wishlist and then what the patrons wanted as well. And from my personal wishlist, only one out of the four cars actually made it into PL16. If you don't know, it was the Alfa Romeo GTA. The only Amalfi Coast 2 seater that i don't have by the way um but yeah i i really want that car luckily it came into the game but the other three cars that i wanted mainly the m3 estate did not make it into the game they they added the g80 coupes and the saloons but they didn't add the estate um i also wanted like the 992 uh 99 992 911 gt3 rs that wasn't added and the last one was a bmw like 3.0 csl something like that but that wasn't added as well so hopefully i'll have a better track record hopefully some of the cars that i want in this update uh will actually come so without further ado man i'm gonna turn off my camera again and i'm gonna show you my entire wish list so number one the number one card that i want for pl17 is the aston martin dbs uh oh her majesty's secret service james bond edition um now i don't think that they're gonna be any stat changes to the regular uh, DBS Superleggera coupe so I'm gonna give it exactly the same 211 miles per hour for a top speed 3.3 for a 0 to 60 and 90 handling I really don't think there there's any difference there's, there's there, there shouldn't be any 0 to 60 difference there shouldn't be any handling difference it's the same car but a special edition of it and obviously like we have a million special editions of like Bentley, ben, Bentley? Bentley Continentals and Mulzans and all that kind of crap so hey man let's have a special edition for the DBS Superleggera as well well, namely the Oh Her Majesty Secret Service James Bond edition. I think it's really cool. I love the bespoke kind of rims and of course that classic grill. So anyway, that's number one on my wish list. Number two is going to be the Rolls Royce Wraith Black Badge Edition. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I think a couple months ago at this point, I made a video on what I think were the most badass cars in the entire world. And I think that the Wraith Black uh, Black Badge, I almost said Black Edition, Black Badge, uh, is one of the coolest cars in the world. It's just so... I don't know. It's it's it's, it's cool. It's, it's, it's just... It, it irritates coolness. I can't think of another word for cool right now. It's just sadistic. I mean, I don't know. Sadistic isn't really another word for cool, but um, that's what it feels like. It feels like I'm an evil villain driving around in this. It's it's really nice. Um, for the stats, 155 for top speed if you put the limiter on it. 4.4, 0 to 60, along with 84 handling. I don't think it'll go any higher than 84 handling. If anything, it might even be less than 84 handling. Maybe 82, 83. Um, you know, this thing is incredibly heavy. I don't really know how Rolls Royce's handle. I'm sure the ride is incredibly smooth uh i think i've only sat in a rolls royce once in my life and that was in the showroom it wasn't even moving so i don't know but i'm gonna give it 84 relative to the bentley handlings uh 4.4 really is a standout i would say over here i don't know if it'll be medium ground clearance or low ground clearance though for a wraith i mean if it was like um <clears throat> If it was a Phantom, I think it would be medium, but for a Rave, I'm not too sure. But it's a really, really cool car nonetheless. I would like to see it in this upcoming British update. All right, the next car that is going to be on my wish list is the McLaren Senna GTR. 210 for a top speed, 2.7, 260, and I'm going to think it's going to have 100 handling stock. One of the best in the game, I think only behind the Porsche 919 hybrid that was added in PL16. Uh, the Senna GTR, dude, like, come on, this has to be in the game, right? The, the Richard Miller car you know um obviously mclaren could get a revamp uh there are a couple of mclarens that need to be added to the game like the center gtr like the speed tail as well so if there is going to be a mclaren revamp then the center gtr would be the car that i want the most mainly because i love handling so much in the game and this is probably one of the best handling cars out there so yeah center gtr absolutely ridiculous all right next car on my wish list is the silver ghost um this is going to be probably one of the oldest cars in the game I think it's from like 1924 or something like that. It doesn't have a 0 to 60, even though it has a top speed of over 60. I guess if you upgrade it, then maybe you'll have a 0 to 60 of like 52 seconds or some crap like that. But it has a top speed of 63 miles per hour, claimed online. They're not a lot of, I, I'll be honest, I'll be honest. They're, there are not a lot of um, uh, specs for this car online, mainly because it's incredibly old, I assume. Uh, also, 60 handling as well. Uh, once again, it's very hard to predict what the stats for this car is going to be. I kind of just threw the handling number out there. Uh, and then I think there was only one website that I found where it said that it didn't have a 0-60, to 60, but the top speed was 63 nonetheless. So, uh, yeah, 
I don't know what to say, man. <laughs> All right. Um, I do want the cars. It's, it's very, very sleek. And the last car on my wish list before we get to the Patreon wish list is going to be the Range Rover Limousine. Um, we have the Maybox, right? We have the Maybox. Why don't we have this? Uh, it seems that Hutch is getting a little bit more... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Adventurous with the cars that they're adding. They're adding armored cars now and things like whatever the Fiat... What was the Fiat? The Ulta or whatever it is, the the seven ton thingy. Um, so yeah, man. I mean, we have the we have the Maybach limousine, so we have the Dictator Mercedes. Let's put the Dictator Range Rover limo in here as well. Uh, yeah, man, it's just really, really, really cool. I think once again, top speed of 155. Handling probably not going to be very good. 62. Once again, in relative terms, I put the handling in, in relative terms to the handding of the Maybach Long Delay. Uh, and it's 7.50 to 60 to boot. It would just be a really cool car in the game. Uh, definitely not going to be useful at all, but you know, be a prize car. And, you know, it'll be pretty cool. You know, it's a, it's a bit of a gimmick car, if you ask me. All right. Moving on now are going to be the Patreon wishlist. These are the cars that the Patreons from my Discord server are looking for. So, hopefully, some of these will come into the game as well. Uh, once again, I hope that at least one, maybe two of the cars on my personal wishlist will make it into the update. Because, so far, all I know is that this update is a bunch of TVRs. And I'll be honest with you, I'm bored. Like, I don't care about your TVRs. I don't care about, like... Your, what is it, Janetta? Whatever it is, like, they all handle very well, but once again, you know, like, I, I want the update to pull on my heartstrings, and you can call me a basic bitch, but I like the popular brands, okay? So, you know, McLaren, Rolls-Royce, Aston Martin, Dodge, Ford, but obviously we don't talk about Dodge because this is a British update. Um, all right, moving on to Patreon wishlist. So number one, obviously the Aston Martin Valkyrie. Um, Bunny, uh, Bunny doesn't even play the game anymore, but uh, Bunny does want the Aston Martin Valkyrie and so do I, man. I mean, like, like I said, you know, McLaren can have a, a small little revamp with, uh, uh, the speed tail and the, the GTR Senna. Uh, Aston Martin could have one with the Valkyrie and, uh, well, what else, uh, the other card that starts with a V, the Victor, the Victor, the Victor, uh, and obviously the DVS Super Legere that I was talking about at the start. Uh, these would be some absolutely beautiful cars, prize cars to boot as well, I would say. Victor, I don't know if the Victor would be a prize car, but I think the Valkyrie would be a prize car, so. Yeah, I would love this in the game as well, so that's a great choice from Bonnet. Uh, next one on the Patreon wishlist is going to be the Jensen Interceptor. Now, this one is sick. <laughs> um, I'm not a huge fan of, like you know, very boutique, discreet brands, you know, things like Ultima or, or Xenos or uh, whatever the hell they're, they're adding, like Janetta, I, I don't care really, but like Jensen's cool, Jensen's really cool. I would say when it comes to like more obscure British models or brands, yeah, Jensen is one of them and uh, MG, I, I kind of like MG and also uh, Noble. Uh, so hopefully Noble will be added in the update as well. I don't have any Nobles in this video, but I would like Noble. Just just an honorary mention, I guess. Uh, honorable mention. But yeah, the Jensen Interceptor is really cool. Sauber really wants this. But I think we can all say that almost everybody wants this. This is just a really cool looking car. I think what I like most about the Jensen Interceptor is it looks American. <laughs> that's, that's why. It just looks like an American muscle car. <laughs> Alright. Uh, moving on on the list. The Lister Storm submitted by Birdie. Um, this is a car that I've never heard of before. It looks like straight out of GTA or it's like a really fat plasticky body kit on a Ferrari F40. That's that's what it feels like. But you know, it's what Brady wants. I've never seen this car before. I like the retro looks to it though. It is quite sharp. Um, but outside of that, I don't know much about this car. I don't know the stats or anything like that. I just know that Birdie wants it and it's British. So there you go. Uh, next up on the list is going to be the Argyle GT by Lee. Now this one's actually pretty cool because, um, the update is called Lock to Lock or something like that. And literally is a Scottish reference. And this is a Scottish supercar. It's like the only Scottish supercar that I know of and that Lee probably knows of as well. Yeah, the Argyle GT, it looks really, really cool. Um, it looks like a fish. Uh, but a cool fish, a cool fish. It looks like a sturgeon, I think. Am I thinking of a sturgeon? Or is it the, um, it's like a s half sturgeon, half sawtooth fish. Sawtooth? Sawmouth? I forgot what the name of, the, of, of that fish is. Like, a, it has a saw for, for a mouth, for a snout, something like that. Like, it's it's cool that way. It, it, once again, it looks like a, a villain car. I, I do like it. I mean, the grill is pretty interesting. It kind of reminds me a little bit of a Dodge grill, honestly, because of, like, the four separated, you know, holes or whatever. Like, it, it does look a little bit like a Dodge grill. I like the shape of the car as well. It just looks really cool. It looks quirky. Like, this one is something that I would get behind, for, for sure. So, yeah, the Argyle GT, a Scottish supercar, uh, submitted by Lee. Uh, and I and then two more cards to showcase for you. MFB. Obviously, everybody wants the MFB. 
I don't know, man. If Hodge can ever get licensing with the Grand Tour, I feel like getting licensing with the Grand Tour would be so much easier as opposed to getting licensing with Top Gear. Because Top Gear right now, they're just like so far off their asses. But like, yeah, I feel like Grand Tour might be more chill about it. So if we can get the MFV in here, dude, this would be the only Bentley that I would ever want. And I'll be honest, man, this would actually be a really good Bentley because it has off-road tires. I mean, you can't tell me otherwise. That literally is off-road tires. So uh, probably medium ground clearance at most i don't think it has high ground clearance but yeah dude imagine the mfv in top drives as a prize car everybody is going to want that honestly like this is ridiculous man and last but not least man submitted by clarkson himself well not jeremy clarkson but the lord clarkson uh he wanted the excellent uh also from the grand tour i mean once again man i'm not opposed to it high ground clearance uh mercedes uh, i think this is a 500 sl maybe um, but yeah, dude, I, I, I absolutely love this. It's, it's fantastic. Once again, it's gonna have maybe all surface tires, uh, uh, but yeah, definitely high ground clearance. Uh, convertible as well, a convertible off-roader. Not a lot of those running around the game. I'm not even sure if there's a single one, to be honest. But yeah, dude, if they, if they, if Hutch ever had licensing with the Grand Tour and they added in things like the Excellent and the MFB, I feel like most people would, like, love that. But I feel like some people might, might think, oh, this is too quirky, it's not realistic anymore. But the thing is, it is realistic. These cars are real. <laughs> And they have been used. It's not like it's like a Fast and the Furious car where like, you know, it has nitrous and, you know, some of it might not be true. Like, you know, a Dodge Charger jumping out of a plane, like, I don't know how many feet above the ground. But, um, yeah, these cars, they've, they're real. They've been in shows. Clarkson has driven them. Um, some at their full speeds, like the MFB. But yeah, dude, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So that's going to be the wish list um, for PL17. So I'll give you guys a recap again. We have the Excellent. We have the MFB. Uh, the Argyle GT is a really cool one. The Lister Storm. Interceptor. The Valkyrie. And of course, the cards that I want. The Range Rover Limo. Um, the Silver Ghost. Seriously, we, we need some Rolls Royces. It's about time, okay? Um, Senna GTR. Uh, the Wraith Black Badge. And finally the DBS OHMSS. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. I really hope that PL17 is more than just a bunch of Genetas and TVRs because I'll be honest, I don't care about that. So hope you guys have a great day. Remember to stay safe. I'm going to turn on my camera for the outro. Remember to stay safe, wash your hands, and blossom out. Peace. Bro, this song just makes me so happy. <laughs> me too. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly. Go to Jetbox, back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies. They so fine. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly. Go to Jetbox, back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies. They so fine. Sit back, relax in my Bonneville Pontiac. Hold tight all night.